How's it going, Great Nation? Chris Thomas here. Hope you're having a great day kind of day. And on this installment of Great Nation, we're going to be talking about the alleged desire by President Trump to be on Mount Rushmore. Now, this is something where when I, I saw this story, I said to myself, the hypocrisy is going to come out of the woodwork. And sure enough, it did. Because a few weeks ago, when President Trump gave a speech in South Dakota at Mount Rushmore, everyone was saying, you know, what a divisive act this was, that Mount Rushmore itself was a symbol of hate, a symbol of prejudice, that Mount Rushmore is on tribal land and it should not be there. People were calling for the removal of Mount Rushmore, the destruction of Mount Rushmore. And now there is a news story in the New York Times, the fake news gazette, that President Trump would like to be on Mount Rushmore. And... Well, well, let me finish, Good Times, Tom Ledo. Now they're saying the exact same people who said Mount Rushmore was a symbol of prejudice. Now, those same people are saying that President Trump isn't good enough to be on Mount Rushmore. He isn't deserving to be on Mount Rushmore. And I'm trying to get this straight. You're trying to be straight? I mean, good luck with that. Cut it out. Let me get this straight. People who a few weeks ago said that Mount Rushmore is a hateful monument are now saying that President Trump isn't good enough to be added to that monument. How does that make any sense? It's become apparent that this sickness that people have to take the opposite position of what they perceive President Trump's preference is leads them into totally inconsistent, totally illogical positions, viewpoints. And there's no shame about it. How could a few weeks ago Mount Rushmore be a hateful monument and now you want to preserve the monument, not change it, because you think President Trump wants to be on the monument? If you're you're someone who thinks that the monument is a symbol of hate, and you think President Trump is hateful, wouldn't you say, hey, President Trump should be on there? I mean, doesn't that make more sense? It it, it might make more sense, but it is something where, as you say, people are divided. We are in a divided country. And a lot of my survey work, oh God, a lot of my survey work, don't, don't diminish me. A lot of my survey work shows that our country is just very, very jacked up. Very, very jacked off. He said very jacked up. You just intentionally said that to be, you know, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we we can't even have a serious conversation on this program. Well, let's talk about. I mean, the the, the governor of South Dakota is one of the serious. Okay, well, uh, finally, you you're contributing a good transition topic. Okay, Governor Christy Nome, who is the governor of South Dakota. C- Christy Nome. No, is Keemstar 
the governor? No, n- not gnome. G, N O M E. I I. It is not spelled that way. Well, how is it spelled? I'm pretty sure it's spelled N O E M. Well, I mean that that's that's close enough. I I'm. So you're saying Keemstar is the governor of South Dakota? Go on. <sighs> Team Star is not the governor of South Dakota. The governor is a woman. Like I said, Team Star is the governor of South Dakota. Uh, all right. Um, it's something where the governor of South Dakota allegedly presented President Trump a replica of Mount Rushmore with his face added on it. Oh, you know, what a, what a sweet gift. Very nice. Well, a lot of people are saying that it was an attempt to win over President Trump and have him add her to his ticket for the 2020 election and pretty much do away with Mike Pence as the vice president on the on the ticket for the 2020 election yes it certainly sounds that way and i would love a replica of mount rushmore where you have various presidents uh doing uh, fun stuff yeah I, i think that would be cool i would like a replica of mount rushmore where you have Bill Clinton and the expression on his face matches the expression he had when he was about to bust after Monica Lewinsky gave him oral treats. Okay, they're not going to add something like that on Mount Rushmore. They're not going to put that on a replica either. You never know. You never know. And it would be great if President Or well, sound it out. Don't don't make fun of me. My, my my I still need surgery on my teeth and you know, I I think you should be ashamed to mock someone for a disability. That's right, my friend. That's right. Chris Thomas does a good job of alienating everyone. Now, are we going to... I thought we were going to have a nice show. We we had a, a moment there, a glimmer, 15 seconds, where we were respectful of each other. Like, Come on. I mean, so, what were you even saying? Well, I just think that it would be cool to have, you know, the Bill Clinton face, the O face. What's, what's the O stand for? You know what the O stands for. And maybe President uh, Barack Obama, you know, maybe uh, have him uh, eating some KFC. Oh, God. You know, uh, this is something where people are not, not, not treating this as a serious topic. Well, you're the one who said that it might not even be a real story. Yes, but, I mean, if we're going to talk about it, let's try and be serious about it. I mean, they're not going to have any president eating KFC. I mean, how, how, how are you going to be able to do that? How can you carve a statue where someone's eating KFC? And of all people, why did you pick Barack Obama? Do, do I really have to explain <sighs> All right, Grady Nation, uh, we appreciate you listening. Uh, check in with us next time. Hopefully, we'll bounce back. Th- this was a good installment. Well, you keep telling yourself that. We'll see you next time. Please spread the word. Tell someone, anyone, really, anyone, please. Yeah, really, I mean, 
actually, this is the first time my mind agree with Dale Pine about something. Tell anyone about the podcast. We need as much help as we can get. Let's let's keep this thing going. Yeah, because uh, Chris Thomas has a subscription to Latin Lecce that needs to be paid for. You're the one that has it bookmarked on the internet. Oh, no, no. It's actually you that bookmarked it. Yeah, I, I think Good Times Time Undo is right on that. No, not true. And people can listen back to the prior installment. They know that you're the one who was on Latin Lecce for three hours. I could have sworn it was about uh, horchata, trying to get some horchata. Yeah, right. 